Here are four prompts that you can use if you're worried about someone you love, especially a teenager. Uh, it's, it's epidemic now. Mental health, depression, suicide, in teenagers, young adults, it's off the charts. Here are the four prompts. Do it while you're doing an activity. Uh, uh, and you want to do that because teenagers can't stand heart-to-heart -heart talks when they're not initiating them. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, it is nails on a chalkboard. Trust me on that. Yeah. And so yeah. while you're doing something, maybe when you're riding, driving, or running an activity, you're kind of in parallel. And what you can say is, you know, a lot of us parents are kind of worried about the pandemic and how it's affecting our kids. And we're all worried about it. And I'm worried about you. And can I just run some things by you? And again, you're not intruding on their space because you're, you're kind of driving. This is a really intimate conversation. Hopefully they'll say, okay, mom, okay, dad. And here are the four prompts. And this is a taste of surgical empathy. Um, at, at its worst, how awful are you capable of feeling about your life or yourself? You're going to go, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, at its worst, how awful are you capable of feeling about your life or yourself? Pretty awful. Surgical empathy. Pretty awful or very awful? Okay, mom. Okay, dad. Very awful. Second prompt. And when you're feeling that, how alone do you feel? Pretty alone. Surgical empathy. Pretty alone or all alone? Okay, okay, all alone. Here's the third prompt. Take me to the last time you felt that. What? Or WTF? Yeah, take me to the last time you felt that. Was it 2.30 in the morning a few nights ago? We heard you walking around in your room and, you know, and something interesting and almost magical happens when they start to describe something so clearly that you can see it. They refeel it, but they're not alone. Yeah, I was walking around. Yeah, it was 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, we heard that. What was going on? I couldn't get to sleep. Yeah, we figured that out. What was going on? What'd you try? I didn't know what to do. You know, I felt like punching the pillow. I punched the pillow. I felt like punching the wall. Wow. What'd you do next? I didn't know what to do. I, I, I started looking for cough medicine. Did you find any? Uh, no. Uh, I started looking for your sleeping pills, Mom. Did you find those? No. Oh, good. We have them hidden. Uh, uh, then what happened? I was going out of my mind, Mom. And then the sun rose. And I felt a little better. Hmm. Fourth prompt. By this time, you might pull over the car. By this time, if we were doing an activity, you might put down and you look in their eyes and you say, uh, I got a favor to ask you. And hopefully they'll say what? The next time you feel that way or you're getting close to feeling that way, you do whatever it takes to get my or your dad's undivided attention because we're, we're busy doing too many things. And there is nothing more important to your dad or me for you to let us know when you're feeling that way because we don't want you to feel so alone with it.